Oh no! Dragon Zord's down! Looks like we need. What? Rathalos power! That, I know, that, 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 was, that was awful. What is up, everyone? Thank you for joining us once again on the DStar01 channel. I'm your host, Dexter Raffalus, and today we'll be opening the real deal SH Monster Arts Leo Leis, aka Rathalos from Monster Hunter World. If you're really going to pick this guy up, you know where to get him at! www.dstartoys.com, your reliable source for awesome action figures. Hello everyone on twitch.tv forward slash dstar01 and everyone on YouTube. We're going to be unboxing this today. We're going to be looking at paint and detail, articulation and scale, and accessories. So enough of me talking. This is one big boy. We need to move Mr. Dragonzord aside. I know he was going to be a comparison, but this guy's pretty big. Let's go to the top cam. Let's see if we can get the top cam going. And look at that, we got the top cam on Twitch. We brought it back. This guy is a monstrous toy from what I can tell. Uh, my good friend, Nintendo 64, he purchased one of these and we he opened one and he was like, whoa, this guy is ginormous. And I agree, he is a large toy. And we're gonna see if it's worth it. He's worth, or he's going for a pretty high price. We're looking at a figure which is about $120 retail. Yikes. <laughs> He's pretty expensive, but we're gonna see if it's worth it. Okay. And so far, I have to say, this ginormous box seems like it's worth it. Looks like we get a stand, we get his full-blown wings right there. He's in a clamshell case. And I think the reason why he comes in such a big case is because his wingspan is really large, right? Oh, come on. The unboxing process. Jeez. His, even this wing came off. We're going to see if we can put him together. And this part came off. Let's try to clean up our mess here in this unboxing. Oh, and there he is. Whoa. Look at this guy. Let's go to the front cam. Let's see what we're dealing with here. And there is our boy, Rathalos. And let's see here. So we already got stuff kind of falling off. Let's see if we can just plug that in. Yeah, we can just plug that back in. So this is kind of weird. Was he always like that? Did he always have a back... Okay, yeah, so here it is. All right, so there you have it. There you go. So everything should be ready to rock in this unboxing. And from what I can tell, that little hind leg or hind toe is kind of falling off all the time. Maybe it's because I haven't positioned it correctly. There we go. I didn't position it correctly. I was, you were right. All right, everyone on Twitch, so far I have to say, let's look at this guy. First impressions. Look at that face. He looks like he's about to bite your head off. <laughs> Look at that. That looks really, really cool. It looks like he has done leg day and chest day all day on this guy. Look at those muscles. Look at the paint and detail. Everything is fantastic. This is They're trying to bring you the best looking Rathalos. And let's look here. From what I can tell, this guy has a ton of articulation points just by looking at him. And there's his tail right there. You cut off the tail, get bonus points right there, extra money. And the wings. Now, the wingspan isn't set to full length yet, okay? So I'm just letting you guys know we're going to look at that in accessories. First off, the face. Wow, love this face. Love the paint. I love how they did a kind of like a gradient from red to black throughout. So it looks like he's burnt himself over time. Uh, so, yeah, let's look at the wingspan real quick. So I think the best way to look at the wingspan is to look at the top cam here. So just to let you know, this wingspan is already quite large and it's not even set to the fullest extent because you need the um, the expansions for it. And just to show you how big he is compared to like other figures, I know we're supposed to do that in articulation and scale, but so here's an SH figure, it's Goku, just to show you how big the wingspan is. So that's pretty nice. So let's take it off the top cam. So far, paint detail and everything looks really good. Super premium figure. You can even see the scales and everything. It just looks, wow. 
I have to say this figure is absolutely amazing and I'm glad I purchased this one and the tail and everything. Let's, let's look at the tail real quick. Look at that. I know we've already looked at it, but I just want to look at it even more. Wow, wow, wow. Everything on this guy. Super detail. I can't even get everything on screen because he's so large. Wow. So there he is on the side right there. And then let's look at him on the front right there. And let's look at him at the side right, another side right there. And last, let's look at his backside right there. And that's him right there. So when it comes to paint detail, I have to say for the price, obviously Monster, Hearts is, uh, Monster Arts is giving you the best of the best. So I have to say, it's pretty darn cool. So let's go and move and transition into articulation and scale. Uh, so let's see, let's see, let's uh, measure him in all aspects, like from how tall he stands, I guess. And then we'll go from wingspan and then how long his body is and whatnot. So with this, we're looking at, I have his head up high. He's looking about five and a half inches from the ground up to the very top of his head. Let's go to top cam. We're going to be utilizing the top cam a lot. This guy is exactly 12 inches long. And let's not forget his wingspan, which is, oh man. Uh, it's past 12, so my, I'm going to take a shot in the dark with this current wingspan. We're looking at maybe 16 inches long. So, yeah, this guy is a pretty big and large boy. So, let's compare him with other action figures. Clearly, you're not really supposed to put this guy with, like, um, everyone else. I mean, you can, but he's not to scale. And I'm wondering how he would have been if you actually made him to scale with 112. He would be... Too large to even fit on this table. We're going to move this aside real quick. I need to mess with that later. So here's Goku, SH Figure Arts. If you're wondering if you could put these two together, probably not. And here is a Marvel Legends Deadpool. And Figma, Solid Snake, with a custom M4 that I painted on stream. And here is Deku, Enemy Heroes. So if you want to put these two together, it looks like they're taking a selfie together or something. So um, let's look at articulation. This guy is loaded with articulation. I can count the articulation points all day with this guy. So we're just gonna we're just gonna go. Let let's just go. Let's count it. One, two, three. Uh, I'm gonna say this is the three. Uh, four. Yep, that is indeed four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten on his on his tail alone, just on his tail alone. This is kind of insane. And let's look at the neck. So we have one. Okay, that's two. Three. Okay, four. Uh, five and six, six, so 16 on the neck, 10 on the tail. Let's go to the wings. One, two, three. Uh, nope, we're going to have to count. That is indeed a bicep swivel. So that's four per wing. So eight uh, plus six, so plus 10, 16 plus eight, 24. Uh-oh. Hold on, camera is overheating. So, so far, I counted four on uh, four per wing. We're just gonna keep going. Four per wing, six here on the neck, plus the tail has 10, so we're at 24, plus we have one, two, three, four, five, 10. We are looking at roughly 36 points of articulation. So yeah, that, that's kind of crazy. Oh yeah, let's not forget the mouth is also articulated. So there's a ton of articulation points on this guy, which I will be posing him. I don't think I want to pose him right now. Uh, I think I'll pose him when I do the, um, the, the other video, uh, the video stuff, uh, the B-roll. So we're going to move on to accessories. But before we do that, I need to turn off the camera real quick. So we had some technical difficulties on Twitch. So we're just gonna finish off the articulation and scale part here after
counting every single articulation point on this guy, we're looking at probably 40 points of articulation. He has so much. And what I really love about this figure is that everything's kind of hidden inside of all the scales and his body and everything, so it doesn't look super obvious. So overall, I have to say this guy is very, very articulated with over 40 points of articulation if I really want to super count it all, and that's quite amazing. One thing that I forgot to compare to, clearly, is the Chagokin Dragonzord. And this guy is pretty big. Let's see how tall the Dragonzord is. Uh, this guy is standing at about 11 inches from the very, very top of his head there. And this is how these two look together. So it looks like they scale decently well together if you wanted to put uh, Rathalos with the Dragonzord from Chogokin. And you can do that. So let's move on to accessories. And this is what we're dealing with here. Let's go to the top cam. It looks like we get extended wings, we get a stand, and then we also get some effects. Now this thing is quite large, and I have to put it together, so if everyone please stand by as we look at all this cool stuff right here. I'm going to go ahead and build him, and then we'll look and see how he is. So everyone please give me a moment. Alright guys, here we are. With Rathalos fully outfitted with the stand and everything. And I got to say, this is absolutely breathtaking. Look at the wingspan right here. It is really huge. In fact, let's see if we can bring this up even more like so and push it back. We are looking at a magnificent looking dragon ready to attack. And I got to say, this looks really fantastic. So let's talk about the accessories that you do get. Uh, the... Stan right here is basically made so you can get him to do his classic pose right here. Uh, there is ways to make him uh, lay down or when he's about to creep up on you. But I personally just love the way this looks. This just looks so cool. This stand makes it look really nice. The wing attachments are not to add on to the current wings, but it actually is to remove this one and replace it. So that way you have a full-blown wingspan right there, and that looks really cool. And last but not least, you get a flame effect that goes into his mouth, and that looks really solid right there. Before we end with the conclusion, let's see how long this guy is, and he can't even fit into the ruler uh, because he's not fully spread. I'd have to say this is about, like I said before, 16 inches long. Let's see if we can get this ruler one more time. I'd have to say, yeah, about 16 inches long when it comes to his full wingspan. So let's come up with a conclusion of the SH Monster Arts Rathalos. Is this worth it? <laughs> yeah, easily. This guy looks awesome. If you love Monster Hunter World, I'd have to say this is just one of the best looking monster arts I have seen. Uh, his wingspan and everything like that looks really, really good. He has a lot of articulation. You honestly cannot beat that when it comes to monster arts. I really love the way this guy looks. So, Anyway, if you guys are looking for this figure, you know where to go. You can go to www.dstartoys.com. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're always in the know when I post new videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.
comment, and subscribe. Where? Right here, not there, right here. You, and thanks for watching. So, rate, comment, and subscribe. Right here, right there, right here. Yeah.